Hello, today I'm back with the Versus video. This time I'll be comparing these two albums here, King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime by Faith No More, and One Hot Minute by Red Hot Chili Peppers. So yeah, these albums both came out in the year 1995, and there are some changes with these bands around this time. With Faith No More, they lose Jim Martin, and they get Trey from Mr. Bungle, another solid band. Then with Red Hot Chili Peppers, they lose John Frusciante, and comes in, we get Dave Navarro from Jane's Addiction. But yeah, let's first start talking about uh, King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime by Faith No More. So with this album, definitely a fairly different album from the previous album, Angel Dust, which was a big success for them. Uh, for me, Angel Dust is the peak for Faith No More uh, and also one of my favorite albums of all time. But they would follow up Angel Dust with this album, King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime, which... With this album, something you definitely notice with the music itself is that it's, you definitely hear a mixture of styles, and which definitely leads for a pretty interesting listen, I'd say. And when this album came out, it came out with fairly mixed reviews, but something you notice is that it's gotten more love over the years. And yeah, I personally really dig this album. Um, this album and The Real Thing kind of fight for being my second favorite Faith No More album, which, yeah, Real Thing and King For A Day, definitely two very different albums. But yeah, again, this album, definitely a fairly interesting listen. You do have your heavier moments on the album, like Cuckoo For Kaka and Ugly In The Morning, but you also have your more melodic moments or more calm moments like Evidence or uh, Just a Man, which is the album closer, or track number seven, Corallo Vodor. Uh, I, forgive me if I butchered that song title, but either way, fairly interesting song. Um, a bit more melodic, a bit more moody, but also kind of has a dark atmosphere to it. But overall, pretty intriguing song. But when it comes to some of the bigger songs on the album, you have Digging the Grave, and you also have Evidence, which is probably one of my favorite Faith No More songs. Kind of has a jazzy feel going on. And for me, I'd say maybe one of their most unique songs. Um, I can't really compare Evidence to really any other song that they've done, but Definitely fits fairly well within this album. Uh, but yeah, Evidence, definitely one of the big highlights on the album for me. And also Digging the Grave is another standout on the album. One of the more straightforward songs on the album. One of the more easily digestible songs on the album, but still overall fairly solid song. Cuckoo for Kaka, I really like the heavy guitar in that song. Star ID, um, kind of an interesting song. And, Definitely another standout for me. You also have the song Get Out, which is the shortest song on the album. Definitely um, opens the album with a bang. Um, all around, fairly catchy song. Definitely grabs your attention. Ricochet was another single off the album. And overall, fairly solid rock song. Um, not my favorite on here, but still overall, fairly good song. Uh, the Gentle Art of Making Enemies is another song that I enjoy off the album. Um, if I remember correctly, Papa Roach covered this song live at one point. And their cover, eh, it's okay. I can see some Faith No More fans trashing their cover, but for me, I've heard it. I think it's, again, okay. Um, the title track, um, probably another highlight for me off the album, and definitely one of my favorites when it comes to the second half of the album. But yeah. Personally, I think this is actually one of Faith No More's best. Again, definitely a fairly interesting slash intriguing listen. But yeah, if you haven't heard it, definitely check it out. But yeah, for me, one of the band's best. And Trey on guitar, I think he does a fairly solid, solid job on the album. Fairly good replacement. And yeah, and of course, again, from, he's from Mr. Bungle, and if you're not familiar with Mr. Bungle, it's de it's one of Michael Patton's bands. Mike Patton definitely has a lot of bands, and Mike and uh, Mr. Bungle is one of those. And if you're again not familiar with Mr. Bungle, definitely check him out. But yeah, King for a Day, Fool for a Lifetime, pretty good album. 
But I'll, now let's go ahead and talk about One Hot Minute and definitely one of the more divisive albums within the Red Hot Chili Peppers discography. Some people are not big on Dave Navarro's uh, performance or his presence on the album. Something you notice with this album is that it's a bit heavier. Um, fairly different album from the previous album, Blood Sugar Sex Magic, which was a big hit for the band. Definitely had big songs like Suck My Kiss and Under the Bridge and of course, Give It Away. But with this album, it's often considered a step down from Blood Sugar Sex Magic. And when it comes to the direction that they went on the album, it pretty much, for the most part, divided fans and still divides fans to this day and I like the heavy nature that you get on some of these songs um I don't think this album is as bad as some people make it out to be but with that said I do still think this album is one of the band's weakest though but again it does have its moments though I think it opens up with one of its best songs that song being warped which is also one of the singles and definitely shows off the heavier side of the album. And I definitely dig the riffs, especially, such as in the verses. And overall, I do like the chorus too. Uh, definitely one of, one of the more memorable, one of the more catchier choruses on the album, I'd say. Deep Kick is another heavier song on the album that I do enjoy. Aeroplane, honestly, uh, that song, you have, you, you, you hear their more funky side in that song, such as in the verses, but Aeroplane, might be my favorite song on here, and also maybe one of my favorite Red Hot Chili Pepper songs, which might be unpopular to say, but it is what it is. I personally really dig that song. You have My Friends, which shows off their more melodic side, and overall, I like the song. I wouldn't say that I love it, but I do like it though. And Coffee Shop's another solid song on the album. Um, if you like Deep Kick, then you'll probably enjoy Coffee Shop. Again, Jeff, that song shows off their more heavier, more upbeat side. But this is one of those albums for me that I would put, kind of put under the category of strong first half, but weaker second half. But the second half does have its moments. Uh, I do like the title track. Uh, on track number 6P, you have lead vocals from Flea. And that song is... It's alright. I don't mind it. I mean, it's not a song that I return to, to be honest. But for what it is, I don't mind it, though. One Big Mob is decent, too. But, again things start to uh, go downhill a little bit in the second half. But again, the second half does have moments like, again, the title track. But yeah, One Hot Minute overall, I think is a decent album. Not great, not amazing, not one of the band's best. It would be in the bottom half of their discography if I were to rank their albums. But still, I don't, again, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think it's as bad as some people make it out to be. But One Hot Minute, again, a decent album and I don't mind Dave Navarro's playing on this album either but and also the heavier moments on the album but if I were to pick which album I like more I'm probably gonna have to go with King for a Day Fool for a Lifetime for me this album has no skips and I mean this this album has 14 tracks and for it to not have that many skips is definitely pretty impressive because with this album there's maybe one or two songs that are maybe somewhat skippable on here but i wouldn't really consider any of the songs on here bad but also this is if i were of the two albums this is probably the album that i return to more and yeah and of, of course mike Patton, to no surprise definitely sounds great on the album but yeah i find myself uh enjoying getting more enjoyment out of this album personally so yeah of this versus video, I'm probably gonna have to go with King for a Day Fool for a Lifetime. But anyways, let me know your thoughts. Let, let me know which album you like more and all the good stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a like, subscribe, have a nice day, and take care.